what's up guys, Double A12 here and welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition video. Today is going to be a tutorial kind of video where I'm going to show you guys how to make an XP farm. Now with this XP farm you actually need to be able to have found either a skeleton spawner or a zombie spawner or else you know, um, it, it, it just won't work. But anyways as you guys can see I did find a cool skeleton spawner. You guys can tell what type of spawner it is just by looking at the um, thing in the middle. And the first thing you want to do is light it up but for the sake of this tutorial so nothing can interrupt us I'm going to turn off the difficulty just so absolutely nothing interrupts us okay. So anyways. This might be a lengthy tutorial, so make sure you guys are following along, and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is create a 9x9 nine nine room. And for you guys to tell it's 9x9, nine nine, it's basically make sure there's 4 blocks um, away from the spawner from each side. As you guys can see, 1, 2, 3, so it means I just simply have to clear out 1 block space over here, which I'm going to do, and you know, and you have to do that for all sides, with 1, 2, 3, and there we go. So I'll see you guys in a bit when I've cleared out these walls. Alright, now that you've done that, what I want you guys to do is actually make sure it's a perfect, um, 9x9 nine nine room. That, you know, basically cover up all the, um, patches or holes that you may have created or that are, you know, existent throughout the area. So let's do that super fast. Alright, now that you've done that, what you gotta do now is make sure, uh, okay, the ground, you have to make sure you dig three down. One, two, and, ooh, that looks like it's gonna be a problem. Oh, well, I'll fix that myself. But yeah, so in your area, just make sure you dig three down. Um, on all sides, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and just do it until this whole area has been completely, um, you know, dug out. Alright, now as you guys can see, I have a perfect 9x9 nine nine room over here, and if you, to know that you've done it correctly, you have to put a water source at every corner of the room, so let me do that super fast. It's something I really don't need to cut out so you guys can see that if you've done it perfectly, you'll have that one square down there, perfectly centered on where the spawner is. Now on top of the spawner, what I want you to do is actually place blocks on top of it. So, you know, nothing can spawn on top of that block. Now, at this point, you can actually remove the torches, but um, I'm going to keep them on just so we can see a little bit better, and I'll remove them at the end. Over here, though, what I want you to do is actually dig three down right there and go um, eight across. So, from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, there we go. And let me just make sure I've done this correctly. Okay, actually we can go one more. I'm going to place a torch down, and we're going to go one more here. Now at this point, this is where it gets a little bit complicated, because over here, I want you to put down a sign just for later uses. And over here, dig 23 up. So this is one, two, three, four, five... Alright, we've dug exactly 23 up, and um, what I'm going to do here is, you know, over here, what you got to start doing now, because if you, I'm, I'm just assuming you're going to create this in survival, is create a water elevator. So you're going to start from here, you know, and then you're going to have your water right here, and then um, you basically, every other um, block, you're going to put a sign so you can create your own water elevator, and um, yeah, so I'm just going to quickly do that, but when you're up here, though, just make sure you have an area where they're going to be pushed off to, because over here, they're going to probably be pushed off to this area, so I'm going to dig two here for now, so it can remind me of that. I'm just going to place a torch to remember, and we're just going to quickly do this water elevator thing, so I'll be right back. Now what I'm going to do over here, I'm just going to quickly move the torch right here, just so we have some light, and I'm going to put uh, actually a sign over here. And for the water elevator, what you need to do now is simply complete the um, water um, everywhere. I'm just going to remove this torch here because we no longer need it. And um, I'll be right back. Alright, so when you get to this point, you can just simply put a water block here. And, you know, they will usually just push themselves over here. But uh, what I like to do to ensure that they actually move here, I like to dig around seven blocks this direction or something like that. And just simply, you know, place water there to, you know, force them to, I guess, be pushed over here. So, you know, like the current makes them, you know, go this way. So it just gives them, you guys don't have to do that. For me, I feel like it's a lot more efficient. And, um, yeah. Now for here, you got to start digging 23 down. So one, two, three, 23. And on this area, you're going to start digging out the room. Oh, shoot. I'm stupid. Now, just remember, this is the area right here. 
where um, your water stuff is built, so make sure you dig in this direction. Or... And it looks like we have a little bit of trouble with our room right now, considering we're completely submersed in water. So let me go um, fix that super fast. And oh my gosh, I kind of blame the seed that I used for this, I guess. Oh well, not much we can do about that. <laughs> Alright, so I think I managed to um actually get this completely um water-free, hopefully. Let's just make sure of that. By placing some blocks over here, but um, this is just my poor choice of seed, I guess. I don't know. So um, hopefully your guys' um area won't do that. But yeah, so what you gotta do now is simply have all this here. Um, just set up your room. This should be your AFK room. You at this point, it's up to you and how you want to have it um designed and built, and all that. And this is where we do a little bit of testing on how well this um works. So let me just um clear this out a bit. And if I'm correct. Um, all I simply need to do is place a block down here, and the skeletons should spawn and all that. But we did leave all those torches there. So let me just go eliminate those torches, and we should be good to go. Alright, so I gave myself a night vision pod so we can see in the dark, and you know, uh, you guys can see how it's supposed to look, and all that. So we're just going to simply remove all the torches around the skeleton spawner. And the science of it is... Um, you know, while in the dark, the skeletons will spawn, and the water currents will force them into that, um, one-by-one one hole over there. So we're just gonna simply remove all this, and remove this, and remove this, and so, okay. Like I said, the size behind it is, you know, they're all gonna be moving towards here. All the skeletons will move towards the center because of the water currents, and we're gonna place the water current here, so they're all gonna be moved over here. At this point, they're all gonna be pushed here. And they're going to start climbing up this water stream over here. And as you guys can see, with the water current being all the way at the top over there, it should force them in this direction over here. And um, at this point, some of them might get stuck over here. I can't be too certain about that, to be honest. But, you know, it is how it is. And they should fall down here with being one hit only. So what I'm going to do is place that right there. And this is the AFK room where you guys just stand there. It should be 16 blocks close to the um, spawner for it to still work. And the skeletons should, sp you know, all drop down here if I wasn't in, you know, um, creative mode. So I'm just going to go here, be AFK, wait for a few of these guys to spawn, and we'll see how this goes. Alright guys, it seems, to, it seems like the design has worked and they should be one hit, if not two. Yeah, there we go. It looks like mo the majority of them are one hit, but um, as you can see, you will be able to get XP from that. I think if we break this, they might be one hit. Yeah, okay, if we break that, so we're just one block off and all that. But that should work, and you know, they should all be one hit. And I just thought of something that could make this just a tad bit more um efficient if, you know, yeah. It should just make it just a tad bit more efficient that I just literally thought of, so... We could have a sign going here instead and remove this sign over here and the water should push them all here much faster. So we're going to do a little, one more bit of texting because it looks like we kind of messed up a bit. But um, there we go. There we go. And what you can do for yourself to make it a bit easier is just, you know, um, just go one block lower with the room and it should work perfectly, hopefully. Let's just quickly do that. Just to see how this goes, and we're going to turn on difficulty once again. Let's turn it on here, and we're going to be AFK, waiting for these guys to, you know, yeah, let's see. Alright, it looks like it is working. I didn't stay AFK for that long, but, you know, simply like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. Let's drink another potion before this runs out. And you can see they're all one hit. What you can do... Um, you could set a hopper right here to pick up all the stuff and put a chest by it or set up hopper system Or you can simply just put a block here and then place a hopper beneath because if you remove this block Let me just kill these guys off super fast. They should all be one hit with just a fist though If you remove this block, they should all die I think When they drop down So what I sometimes like to do if I don't if I just want the loot and not their um, you know Oh, no, it looks like they don't die. Okay, but it looks like it is safe to go at least one lower with this XP farm, you know, but, um, yeah, so, 
it seems to work perfectly. I think if you go one block lower, then you can finally kill them without being able to hook them and set up like your own hopper system and all that. But that part there is up to you guys. It looks like we made a pretty successful XP farm. And if you and hopefully you guys follow the tutorial um to the point where you know you guys understand how this works and all that. Set up the AFK room however you wish to do so and all that. And um yeah. Anyways, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys did, our ratings always appreciate. Tell me you guys think of this awesome farm. And also work with a zombie spawner, but I prefer skeleton spawners because you get um more useful loot out of this and all that. But um yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, a rating is always appreciated. Leave a like only if you guys did enjoy the video. Subscribe to me if you're new to this channel and want to see more of my other videos, you know. Because they're all kind of cool and all that. But anyways, tell me what you guys think about this. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Double A12 here signing out. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys, and goodbye.